Hey guys, how's it going? This is Khan, and welcome to episode 109 of Good or Garbage, the number one place where you can find out what stuff is being sold in the division on a weekly basis. 109 weeks strong, consistency, oh my god, it's thick. All right, so this week um, is a pretty, I guess this is a pretty long uh, kind of throwback version of GOG. Uh, this one, I went in and I started talking about the stuff that was being sold, uh, why I like some of the things, and what uh, possible combinations you guys could do. Uh, this is how I used to do GOG, but you know, with time being what it was, I wanted to try to trim it down. Uh, but this week was pretty skimpy. There wasn't a lot going on uh, in terms of weapons, but in terms of mods and attachments, there are quite a few things, especially attachments. So with all of that being sold, let's get into it. Episode 109, GOG, let's go. Oh. All right, now let's move on to the attachments for this week. At Camp Clinton at the Special Equipment Vendor, there is an extended magazine being sold with a 120 magazine size. Comes with 4% critical hit damage and 4.5% reload speed. Uh, this is pretty good for PvP, so if you are looking to get something like this uh, that has high crit chance already, this could work out for you. This week over at West 42nd Street, there is a rugged mini reflex site being sold. This one coming in with 7.5 critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 5% optimal range. If you are looking for something like this to put on, uh, I would say probably an AR or a light machine gun or something like that, it's not really going to be the best uh, option for an SMG, but if you are looking for something like this for one of the uh, uh, previously mentioned weapons, then you can head on over to West 42nd Street and check it out. Uh, that is a lot of chance. That is some good crit damage. Optimal range is kind of eh. I would have actually liked stability on that um, for an AR, but you know, it is what it is. It's still not too bad. So if you are looking for this, head on over to West 42nd Street and check it out. Over at East 40th, we have a heavy magazine spring this week being sold. This one coming in, I'm liking this. Uh, if you are using Lone Star, this is probably going to be amazing for you. I think for, for this week, Lone Star users are going to be pretty damn happy. All right, now anyway, uh, Lone Star users, uh, take note. Uh, there is a heavy magazine spring being sold again at East 40th Street. Um, and with this thing, you get 4% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance, and 9.4% rate of fire. Um, now, this is pretty nice to have if you are looking for something like this to roll um, with uh, Lone Star. So if you are using that, you might want to go and check that out. It's over at East 40th Street. Go ahead, check it out. Over at Fifth Avenue, we have a large suppressor being sold now this thing has a nice i guess variety of major attributes and even the minor is still really really nice with this weapon the problem that i have with this uh primarily is just that the critical hit damage is a bit low only at 16 percent these things do get up to 19 so that's three percent that you're not getting um, and it also comes with headshot damage, which is 5.5. These go up to about six. The crit chance is at three, which is as good as it's going to get. And the reduced threat is at 47, which is, it's, it's all right. Um, this isn't the greatest role that you can have on one of these things, but it is okay if you're not using something better. Um, still, you will get crit chance, headshot, and crit damage, plus reduced threat. So it's not bad to use on an AR if you are trying to go for something like this. Um, but do remember that, you know, if you're specking into crit, this along with, uh, I believe there's a, a, um, a site that I was talking about that has a crit hit chance. Stacking all of that could work out for you uh, just with those mods alone uh, This one and the uh, site you get an instant crit chance of up for 
again like i said the only problem is the crit damage is not the greatest so you may want to either hold out if you have something better or, or if you don't have anything better you might want to check this out just try it out see what you think uh and see if you like it uh, is it killing stuff faster or not let me know in the comment section below are these uh is there anybody who's, who still doesn't have a 19 percent critical hit damage muzzle and uh scope let me know down down below i'd love to know oh and the uh, under barrel let me know if you guys are still looking for 19 percenters let me know over at west 46th street there is a muzzle break being sold uh, if you are playing on console, this could be uh, a game changer for a lot of people. This thing comes in with 13.5% stability, which is as high as it gets. It also comes with 5.5% headshot damage and 2.5% critical hit chance. Now the headshot damage of course could be higher and so could the critical hit chance, but the stability could not. And for people who are using ARs or any weapon that they find hard to control, um, this is one thing that you could throw onto your weapon and use. Uh, again, there is a very, very, very large difference in terms of the way that uh, weapons handle between console and PC. Uh, I actually ran around on PC uh, just, you know, playing uh, because the global event is going on. And I'll tell you what, it is hella easy to get headshots and get steady aim on a mouse and keyboard than it is uh, if you are playing with a controller. That's just the way that it is. Um, so yeah, if you are playing with a controller and you are playing on console, if you're having some issues with uh, getting your headshots or landing shots, then you might want to consider uh, not specking so much into the damage and maybe specking into some stability because it don't matter how much damage the weapon does if you ain't hitting nothing. Facts. This week at Kerman Station, we have a C79 scope with 3.4 times magnification. This one comes in with 18% critical hit damage, 5.5% headshot damage, and 2.5% stability. Now, this scope is uh, seems to be a little bit popular this week. There is another variant of this being sold. I uh, don't remember offhand where it is, but you can look down in the heads up section to find out uh, what's going on with that one. The difference between the two is that this one has headshot damage and the one in the description in the heads up section has critical hit chance. So if you're not too worried about headshots and you're more worried about critical hit chance, then you can go and check that other scope out. The one major difference uh, aside from the headshot and the crit chance is that the one that has the uh, crit chance has less critical hit damage. This one has higher critical hit damage. Uh, so if you are looking for that, go ahead, check in the description in the heads up. Um, and you might find some other stuff that you may be looking for. Or if not, you can just stick with this and uh, rock it out. At West 34th Street, we have a 552 Hallow Sight being sold with 7% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.5% stability. If you are looking for something like this, um, I would actually really prefer if this thing had a little bit more chance, but it's still not bad. If you are using this for an AR, uh, this could work out for you. It does have the stability. It does have maxed out crit damage and you know, the chance is still really good. It could go a little bit higher, but it's still really good. If you are looking for something like this and you don't have anything better and you like using ARs, give this a shot. This could probably be a lot better for you and it will make those crits happen, especially if you're running uh, deadly on your weapon. Yeah. Go Go ahead check this out over at uh, West 34th Street. At the DZ vendor uh, for DZ9, the DZ9 vendor, uh, if you are looking for the Tyrant Suppressor, there is a pretty nice one being sold this week. Coming in with 7% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage, 6% headshot damage, and a nice 47% reduced threat. Now this is not the max, max, max of uh, all of these Tyrant Suppressors. I know for a fact on this character that I have right now, he has a slightly better uh, version of this. He has a seven, seven and a half critical hit chance and I believe it's 49% reduced threat, but 4% critical hit damage and 6% headshot damage is what I have. So still, 
a very very good uh, variant of the Tyrant suppressor I use this for ARs so if you are looking to use this with ARs uh, and get that crit chance plus the crit damage and headshot damage along with some reduced threat so if you're dealing with PvE enemies uh, they focus on you a bit less then definitely head over to DZ9 and check this out it is pretty good so I would say uh, it's recommended and check it out if you don't have one DZ9 okay lone star users man break out the vaseline baby it's getting nasty tonight i'm telling you all right so we got this heavy magazine spring again we got another one that's two uh heavy mag springs being sold this week this one and the other one are a bit different this one coming in with four percent critical hit damage 2.5 percent critical hit chance and the rate of fire 10.1% rate of fire increase. Now the other one, there's the other uh, heavy mag uh, spring that's being sold this week. Um, I believe that one has a little bit more critical hit chance. It's at 3%. And then this one has a rate of fire that is higher at 10.1. So I guess it's kind of a, a decision of do you want the little bit more, well, the half percent of chance, or do you want the uh, rate of fire is more than 0.5% um, up of rate of fire slightly um, if you want that. So that's kind of up to you depending on what you want. Um, but yeah, either either way, I think you still be good to go if you are using Lone Star and using uh, an LMG or two LMGs. I think it would be great. So let me know which one do you pick up? Do you pick up the one with the higher rate of fire or do you pick up the one with the higher uh, critical hit chance? Definitely let me know down below. What do you guys think is the better bet? Now let's go take a look at this week's gear mods. Over at West 42nd Street, we have a stamina mod being sold. This one coming in with 260 uh, stam. It also comes with 2.5% exotic damage resilience. So if you are trying to spec into exotic damage resilience and uh, you're in need of something, you know, you don't just have anything lying around, then you could try this out, see how it works for you. 260 stam, not bad, uh, it can be improved upon, uh, so can the exotic damage resilience, but if you are in need of this or you want to try it out for a build, maybe to see how it works out, then you could go over to West 42nd Street and check it out. Over at Southpaw, for those of you who are still trying to make that sticky bomb work, I know a lot of people ask questions, how do, you, how do people get their stickies so strong, especially when they see videos or whatever about sticky bombs being really, really strong. 4% um, sticky bomb damage, make sure you stack those, that's going to help you, and then you really have to spec hard into electronics, uh, you have to be kind of a glass cannon of electronics for that to happen. So here you go, you can go head on over to uh, the Southpaw and then check out this 4% uh, sticky bomb damage uh, performance mod if that's what you're trying to do. This week over at the ward we have a purple stamina mod being sold, this one coming in with 204 stamina and 3% damage to elites. So if you've been looking for these damage to elite mods, uh, especially if you're looking for a stamina one, this one is not too bad. We can usually go over 210, uh, usually I think it's like 211 or 212, somewhere around there uh, you can get with these purple mods, but you know. The reliability of that is very, very slim. Uh, getting the, the God Roll maxed out version of a purple mod is really, really rare, like ultra super rare. Uh, I know a lot of people want firearms, so those are extremely rare, but stamina, we've got this one, it's not bad. So if you are looking for this, um, and again, you can get about 4% damage to elites as well. So this isn't the greatest one, but if you don't have it, uh, it's always better to just buy. And then when something better comes along, you just replace them and delete these. Um, that's what I suggest. And that's usually what I do. And also over at the ward, there is a prototype firearms mod being sold. This one coming in with 266 firearms, almost at the max. Uh, but it does come with 2% all resistance. I'm not sure that anybody wants all resistance, uh, but the firearms is good and all resistance will, you know, kind of counteract a lot of stuff. So if you are interested in it, you can head over to the ward and check it out. But if you, you know, just want to skip on it, then you, I would kind of recommend that you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, you got two decent mods uh, that are being sold over at the ward. So head on over there and check them out. 
at the DC vendor over at West 46th Street, there is a prototype stamina mod being sold. This one with maxed out stam uh, 267. So if you are looking for that, you can go over to um, West 46th Street and pick this up. It also comes with 3% skill haste. So if you have been looking for skill haste with stamina, then you should head over to uh, West 46th Street and pick this up. At Autumn's Hope this week, there's an electronics mod with 266 electronics and 3,167 skill power. If you are looking to bump up your skill power or if you have a skill power build, looking to get that electronics and skill power combo together, head on over to Autumn's Hope and pick up this mod. At the Cavern this week, we have a purple prototype firearms mod with 191 firearms. It also comes with 3% damage to elites. Uh, so if you are looking for firearms and damage to elites, you can go over to uh, the Cavern and check it out. As always, as I said, I would always shout these out. So if you have been searching for these, looking for these, or you're just looking for a weekly place to find out uh, in the division what kind of stuff is being sold, and you want to know about these damage to elites mods, you've come to the perfect place to find out. I'm shouting it out, good or bad, whatever it is. Uh, I know you guys want it, so here it is. Head on over to the Cavern, check it out. Now let's take a look at the 280 to 283 gear score items. This week over at last call, we have a gear score 283 double barrel shotgun. Now this week I have to admit has been total garbage when it comes to weapons. I mean, there really are almost no weapons in the, in the 280 section. This is it. So um, yeah, there are really no good weapons this week. Um, but getting on to this, so if you are running maybe Lone Star, um, this could work out for a Lone Star build if you are trying to play some PvE with this. Uh, we have the double barrel shotgun, of course, comes with 328% stagger. The talents for this bad boy are destructive, sustained, and responsive. Now, responsive and destructive together are really good to have, uh, especially on a shotgun if you are playing PvE. Uh, and then you can swap out sustained for whatever it is that you want. Um, and you have some options there. So depending on your build, this is a pretty nice shotgun. Uh, if you are running uh, Lone Star, uh, you can buy two of these. Uh, if you don't know about the Lone Star perk or if you've never made a Lone Star build, the thing about Lone Star is that you don't have to reload. So you can effectively buy two double barrel shotguns, uh, use it. And then when you're when it's time to reload you can just switch and then the other one should be reloaded and you can just switch back and forth between the two of them the double barrel shotguns tend to hit harder uh than most of the usual um shotguns so you know the damage is really good the talents are not that bad uh but again like i said this week there aren't really any good weapons so uh this is pretty much it so if you are looking for this and you are running lone star then go for it if you're looking for weapons and you're not running Lone Star, uh, not really much I can tell you this week. Come, come back, come back next week. Come, come again. <laughs> this, this, this week ain't happening for you. Just come again. Now it's time to wrap things up in the 284 plus gear score section. At the DZ3 weapons vendor, there is a military M60E4 light machine gun being sold with a staggeringly, surprisingly whopping perfect gear score. Now, usually this is kind of reserved for pistols. Um, I, I think this is probably the first time I've seen a gear score 286 weapon being sold flat out. Now, on top of that, the talents ain't bad. Um, let's look at this thing. So we've got this light machine gun. Uh, gear score 286 comes with 22% damage to targets out of cover, unforgiving, self preserve, vicious. Now, vicious and self preserved, um, depending on how you want to look at this, uh, could work out for you. Um, with the extra critical hit chance, if you have two segments of health, the 10% bump then you're going to uh, get more chance to hit more crit shots. 
Now with self-preserved, critical hits with this weapon will heal you for 3% of the damage dealt. Now the thing about this which synergizes really well is that um, if you are using unforgiving, so let's say you take some damage and maybe you're not getting that crit chance, then you're still doing more damage with unforgiving once you get down uh, to losing segments of health. So if you lose one segment of health, which is still uh, okay, because you'll still have uh, two pieces of health, you'll get 10% damage buff, plus you'll have the 10% um, critical hit chance, and then you'll also get the crit hits are going to heal you for 3% of that damage dealt. So unforgiving is going to work out really, really well with this. And uh, if you fall below in uh, the, you know, if you only in your last segment of health, then vicious won't really work for you and you'll end up losing that 10% critical hit chance, but you end up having the 25% critical hit damage um, from unforgiving. So it's not bad. Um, if you want to swap something out, I would I would probably say swap out uh, self-preserved. Um, but if you don't want to swap out self-preserved, maybe you want to uh, swap out vicious for deadly. You could do that as well. But I do think that vicious, uh, self-preserved, and unforgiving are a nice little um, combination. They they do synergize pretty well. Uh, but you still do have some room to play if it doesn't work for your build or your play style. But you could work with it. Um, I know some people like certain talents more than others, but I think three of these together uh, do work out pretty well so if you are looking for a light machine gun that is maxed out has good synergy and uh, works basically off of crit then you could go over to DZ3 over to the vendor and check it out all right, guys, that is it for this week's Good or Garbage, episode 109. I hope you guys found something useful to help out your build. There were a lot of attachments being sold this week. Unfortunately, not that many weapons, uh, really not, not many weapons at all. But if you guys enjoyed the longer format uh, where I go into detail about the attachments and mods and weapons and all that stuff and synergy, then uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know that's the kind of stuff that you're looking for when you come to GOG. Or do you like me to just blaze through it? Either way, have a good weekend. I'm out. Peace. Oh.